Hi guys, so much requested little haul from the items that I might have picked up out in Waikiki. Um, I don't know how long this video is going to be, if it's going to be one long video or a couple short ones, but I need to start with this Honolulu Cookie Company item or bag because I need to give Miranda Seacher her little gift that I picked up. So, um, you know, if any of this stuff is available, if I can link it there for you guys in the description box, they may be affiliate links, maybe like Honolulu Cookie. I know they sell them at Nordstrom or other places like that, but those will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you're purchasing items to those links. Love this place. I didn't go crazy like I did last time. I only bought some. <laughs> last time I bought, I think, several hundred cookies. But anyhow, um, I did pick up another one of these little um, uh, cookie jars. I think this is so cute. Look at with all their little Hanu cookie company. It's basically shortbread cookies, like um, guayaba flavor. I was also, well, although it says guava flavor, uh, pineapple, you know, chocolate chip, uh, Kona, like coffee flavor. Some of them are chocolate dips, some aren't. Um, just really good. And this one, has a ton of cookies in here. I just think it's so adorable and it opens like that. I don't know if it's actually, yeah, ready to open <laughs> right there. And then they have several that you can just pick out, like, you know, they just sell them individually. Okay, guys, actually my son came down and I didn't realize he still had a uh, fried rice bowl thing that I had picked up from the ABC store for him and brought it, you know, 12 hours out here and uh, I will show it to you, but he needed to eat it, so it's gone. And some masubi and things like that. So we'll talk about the ABC stores in a minute. Oh. I have my little crowns. We went to a luau. We weren't planning on it, but then we decided why not. So we went to the Halakoa Luau, which is the military hotel there um, in Waikiki. And I suppose you have to be military to stay there. I mean, obviously your family can stay there, but some kind of military member had to have been there to get you in there. Anyhow, uh, Honolulu Cookie Company, Heart of Aloha. This is so cute. I mean, they have all their... Um, I was going to say Halloween things, Valentine things still. So this one, it just had a few cookies in it, to be honest. I didn't even look. What does it say on here? Two, four, six, seven? I think a couple are missing. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, seven. That's what it is. Okay, good. And um, it's just such a, such a cute tin, and I collect their tin, so I grab that. And this is for Miranda's teacher. Um, just a really cute little pineapple, and then it has nine cookies in there, so I'm not going to open that, but... It looks just like these guys. And then, uh, because I purchased however many, I got five or six or whatever it was free in here. I guess five. And, um, they look like that. And just ones that I picked. Again, they have little baskets like this, and obviously this one got crushed because I had to put all these things in my luggage. Somebody had asked, um, I think it was Kathy, like, if I bring an empty suitcase. I was like, girl, I bring two. I bring one inside another, and we check that, and there's literally just empty, you know, if there's things I need to bring, maybe I put toiletries in there, I don't know. Um, because I figure I'm not bringing those back anyway. And then we, uh, you know, separate those out, and then that comes back with my souvenirs in it, because last time we ended up having to buy a piece of luggage, which actually, I'll tell you, we got it at the ABC store, and it works great. We've gone other places with it, um, taken it to other vacations, and, you know, checked it twice already on airlines, and it's been great. So if you're in Hawaii and you end up needing another piece of luggage, like an actual suitcase, uh, the ABC store one, I think it was just over $100, like one of those huge suitcases, and it works great. She has nice wheels, it works well, so don't fear if you have to do that. Um, so then I got this guy a big box of cookies. It's really pretty, and this one you don't choose, it's just what's in here, and that's just fine. I mean, there's just a ton of them. I also got some shortbread at, um, what's that place called? Don Quixote, which is another store I like to go to. We kind of have those here in San Diego, too, which that's what this guy, after I had checked out before, I was like, oh, that's interesting. Uh, out here, they're called Marukai Markets, so and they have it in L.A., too. He's like, yeah, you know, after people saw, have seen that we're basically the same store, it's owned by the same company, and a Japanese company. He's like, sometimes people just come here to buy their um, gifts and then just act like they brought them in from Hawaii. <laughs> but it is better pricing in Hawaii, I will say. So, And they're fresher, you know, like the macadamia nuts or the chocolates, things like that seem like it to me at least um oh the little bracelets in here for that Miranda had picked up from one of the abc stores because it's just somewhere they're always there and you just pop in and you know we had just shopped at this place so i just kind of tossed it in this bag but cute little bracelet okay i want to get that out of the way so i can get this gifted um i'll be back you know what just a couple other things before my kids get home and eat them all so i have some original butter mochi i got these at foodland which is an awesome store it's just a grocery store you know um this one is the original kind of flavor. I don't know if you can see. It's just like creamy, custardy cake kind of thing. This one is Lilikoi flavor, which is passion fruit flavor. So my kids love these things. I don't know if you can see how shiny it is because it's chewier. It's basically rice flour. I don't know if it's glutinous rice flour right now off the top of my head. But even these guys, the mochi malasadas, malasadas are like a donut kind of. 
eh. <laughs> but um, these are mochi, so they're chewy. And I know traveling, they got a little moist like this, but the kids love them. Even right now, like I bought two of these, and they're pretty, the first one's gone. Actually, I actually bought three of them. One while we were out there, and these two on the way home, and um, the other pack got eaten up by the time we got home. Uh, these are just some muffins I had left over that you know I still had with us that we would eat every morning. And um, it's chocolate macadamia, and then I think these are vanilla macadamia, so I still have a couple of those. Just want to show, these are from the ABC stores, they're great. These were basically from Duke's Marketplace, which is kind of like an ABC store too. It's like a mishmash of those things, so if you want to check them out, you can also get these at Duke's. Oh, this happens to be a masa from the Hilton, and it's a little bit smashed up, but you can see it has a little cinnamon. It's just like a donut. I don't know, but, you know, it's a day old now. Huge. And they're really good. So if you're at the Hilton Hawaiian Village, don't be afraid of buying those. They're yummy. And this is a Masubi from ABC Stores. Um, probably seen better days. Yesterday when it was nice and warm, it's been in the fridge. But anyhow, it's just a Spam that's kind of like glazed and teriyaki glaze on top of your rice, and then one little strip of nori seaweed around the middle. All right. Okay, guys. So I took a break for about a day. Uh, I think I sound better. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try to make this in a way that hopefully it makes sense. I don't know, like I said, it might be two videos, might just be one long one. These items I picked up at a little store called, oh, it's on here, Happy Wahine. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong because I say it with a hard, like, of the E at the end, but I think it's an S out at the end, I'm not sure, but Happy Wahine, and um, it's so cute. Um, I know what he means girl or lady, that kind of thing. Um, cute little store. They have their own designs and they are adorable. So Miranda really wanted this water um, bottle. And I, in my mind, I wanted to get water bottles because we like to do that whenever we go out there. Last time they were all kind of expensive and there wasn't anything that I was like, eh, too impressed with um, at those pricings, you know? <laughs> so having that in mind, I was like, okay, this time I'm just going to look for a pattern and let it, whatever the cost is, because they were kind of crazy for a water bottle that doesn't have like a name. But, like I said, this one is for this company, so I wanted to support that, so I thought that was cool. They have their own prints and all that cute stuff. So, I'm going to grab this one. Um, super cute. They had it in a white background also, so if you're interested and you see that they have a website, maybe they do, I don't know. Um, you can check it out. This is the design I was interested in, so I grabbed this one. It has this fan musubi, coconut, you know, lihing mui, simon, which is like some noodles they make out there, pineapple, shave ice, shave ice, of course, manapua, you know, all these different things on here, spam musubi. I just thought it was super cute. So along with that, I got myself a little fanny pack that Miranda had actually picked up first, and then ended up that they did have another one so we bought two of them super cute i love the the way it works this one has miranda's things in it mine is i just didn't bring it out because there's no reason but see sherry has her little stash of cute things there she has a little wrapper oh my hand cleaner i we tossed that out she has um her little two pockets with her lip glosses in there she has a pencil in there it has a zipper and then it even has a zipper on the back which i thought was really nice and safe so she wears it crossbody and i wear it like a fanny pack just to be silly but um, you can definitely put this across body if you extend it uh, meaning this goes in front of your chest basically it's super cute I mean it's just adorable so she grabbed that and then I also grabbed um, the little warmer bag or cool bag depending on what you put in it I actually brought the stuff that I had bought from the ABC store the um, fried rice like bento and the masubi in here and it was still pretty warm like warm ish by the time we got here which was like 12 hours later so my son ate both of them obviously we reheated them put them in the fridge the other ones and he is just fine he didn't get sick <laughs> so I think we're good uh, so I thought that was really great they had larger ones this is like a medium sized one super cute with the same little print I just thought this was adorable and along with the water bottles, I actually grabbed this one for my son up in Diamond Head. Uh, last time, Diego, we all went, Diego and his girlfriend and you know, the whole family. And um, again, we're looking for water bottles. We never really found anything we really cared for, other than the one from the Honolulu Cookie Company, if you saw my last haul from last year. Um, I think that one is Yeti brand, and I love Yeti water bottles. And this one, again, just says adventure-hawaii.com. It doesn't say it's any certain brand, but I thought it was cool, and we did hike Diamond Head last time all together, so... I got him this one this time, so Diamond Head State Monument, and I like this as Adventure Hawaii on the top. Very cute. So I grabbed him that one. Um, okay, I'm going to keep grabbing things. I think what I'm going to try to show you guys right now is like the clothing items, but I do have a lot of snacks, <laughs> so I'll be right back. Okay, I might be weird to just toss these things here, but um, whenever we go, um, I love Volcom, the brand Volcom, and in my everyday life I'm wearing Adidas, or Adidas, however you like to pronounce it, but Adidas and Billabong and Roxy and things like that. I've always been fascinated with those brands since I was like younger, you know. 
and Quicksilver, right? You don't see that as much anymore. But anyway, <laughs> um, they have a Volcom right in that Hilton, Hawaii. That's also where I got the Happy Wahine stuff. It's right there. I don't know if they have one downtown Honolulu or whatever. But I don't even know if I mentioned at the beginning of this video that that's where we were in Waikiki because the kids like the hustle and bustle. They like to play in the pools. You know, it's a different feel, right, than some of the other islands. But anyway, um, there's a Volcom attached, and I've showed you guys that in the shorts video. As soon as I come down the elevator, Volcom's right there. They always have a deal, like two shirts, a pair of shorts, and a sandal or a hat, which actually I forgot to bring the hat out, um, for $119. Um, there's another company, I think Rip Curl has something similar that's also there nearby, and then there was another company that I just picked up, Honolulu, I think, uh, which ended up being basically a sister store to uh, Billabong, which is funny, because I had mentioned the girl was showing me some of the shorts they had, and she said, oh, we have these, I'm like, oh, I already have those, I have several pairs, very similar, I've never heard of this brand, she's like, oh, and I said, they're Billabong, she's like, oh, that's her sister store, so no wonder, a lot of the designs are very similar. And they had a deal, two shirts, a short, and then like a hat or sandals or something, I can't remember what the other thing was. And for 99 bucks, I'm like, okay. So, we always look for deals. Either way, we like to get their stuff that's pretty much um, Hawaii-related, right? The Vulcan with the little Hawaii logos, because that's where you find them. I think you might find them online, I'm not really sure. But I know if I go to Vulcan here, they're not going to have the Hawaii si symbol. So this stuff was for Diego, my older son. Uh, my younger one, he didn't really care for anything this time around. He has his stuff from last time he went, and it still fits him, and he's like, I'm happy with that. I'm like, okay, cool. So, Vulcan Hawaii. And then uh, this one really had Hawaii prints on it. Any shorts they have you can get, so I grabbed this one for my son. I thought it was very typical Hawaiian, and what I love is this the little emblem. So the hat I picked also is similar, and it has the little Hawaii Islands on there with the Volcom signature. And then <laughs> Dora was running out of socks, so we had picked up some socks for him. And that was actually all in a bag, but I had to really take things out because, like, once we pack to bring stuff back, well, however it fits is what we need to do, right? Get it packed. So I had to take it out of the bag, but I love having this reusable bag with the Hawaii little islands on there. Hawaiian islands. I love going to the swap meet. The Aloha swap meet is on Saturdays and Sundays and Wednesdays. And last time we went there, we were only there on a Wednesday. Like, we hadn't, we weren't there on the weekend. Um, or we got in late Sunday, basically. And um, so we went Wednesday, and it wasn't as big, like, as packed, you know. And apparently they're going to close the Aloha Stadium. I think they're either building a new one or something's up. But they were going to get rid of it. But they had permission to keep running the swap meet, so it sounds like. And there's, you know, fresh fruits and vegetables and clothes and souvenirs and all the stuff that you would typically see at a swap meet. And I love going there. So, of course, as soon as we step in, my kids are like, uh, can we just go? Except for Miranda does like looking at, like, the touristy souvenir stuff. But, um... It was fine, <laughs> and I recommend going if it's still open whenever you go, if you ever get out there. Um, having said that, what did I grab? Oh, um, I like picking up stuff there too. And this time I picked up, they had Moo Moo's. The last time they never saw, I never saw where you go and they have Moo Moo's. We have the, the dresses and the shirts, the Aloha shirts, and that match, and Miranda, and all that. This time she wasn't really into it, so. I picked up a little Moo Moo. I thought this would be fun for me to wear around the house. So I have this guy. Um, and I just like the print. I mean, it was kind of wild and crazy. So it just kind of goes out from here. Obviously, it's a Moo Moo. And then it has a big ruffle at the bottom. I thought that was really cute. So I grabbed that from one vendor. The same people I grabbed these from. Everybody has a sarong deal. You know, if they're the big ones, they're like 4 for 24. If they're the smaller ones, 4 for 20 or things like this. Um, this one, I didn't really need four of them, but I... You know, the lady, I wasn't sure if she understood what I was asking her. So either way, I only picked out two. <laughs> so this is one, even though the colors are so different. It changes in the middle. So I love the patterns on this. I thought it was really wild and pretty. And then this one, again, just typical, you know, Hawaii print. And I just thought it was really lovely. So this is these are the longer kind of sarong kind of cover-ups. But they have a really nice feel to them. That's why I really liked hers, so... We went with that. I was trying to look for people who actually use cotton and things. Like, that's polyester, you know, kind of feel. Um, so I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. Because I got some bags from a lady that said that they make them there. And it seemed like it was like quilting cotton. You can tell the difference, you know. So she had a great price, so I went with her. Now these guys right here. <laughs> this lady had a booth where you buy these kind. And I wear these things all the time when I go to the beach, around the house, go pick up my kids or whatever. I got them in Arizona originally. In Arizona, you know, in Sedona, they wanted like 60 some odd dollars. I think I got a military discount. I asked the lady, I'm like, oh, how much? She's like, oh, any piece is $20. I'm like, all day, I'll pay $20 for these. 
you wash them, they don't fade. Like, I love these. If you guys see these in touristy places, just if they're, you know, the price is right, grab them because honestly, you'll have a really nice time in them. So, she had some different designs that I had seen in Arizona. Like, this one ties in the back a little bit, it goes around your neck. And it has the legs. I know it's hard to see. They're just really floppy and fun. And 20 bucks, I could not believe it. And I, I even told her, oh, well, I said, oh, that's a great price. I wasn't going to be like, oh, these are. <laughs> so, um, didn't even try to haggle her. I don't really try to haggle anybody, but if I think something, you know, I might get a little bit lower, I might. But this one has the pant legs. It goes up in the front like this. So just a little different style. I've never got this in a dress style. They all have pockets. The dresses have pockets. Those have pockets. I mean, they're just well made. If you got, I'm telling you, if you go anywhere touristy, you'll see these. I see these in downtown San Diego too, but they're more expensive out here. Um, this one was really pretty. Again, look, it has pockets. Like the detail. <laughs> when do you buy something that's kind of inexpensive that has pockets? And then the bottom, you know, lace here, or not lace, but ruffle. And then this one, again, it's kind of like the one I typically wear. It has a little thing in the back that makes it like a T shape or whatever. And it goes up in the front, and then it kind of scrunches around your legs wherever you want to put it. I actually was wearing one of these on the way out when we left here, so it was kind of funny. And then again, pockets. Like, I cannot believe it. I probably should have bought more of them, honestly. I love those things. I live in them. Um, oh, you know, we went to Aulani really quickly. Well, not really quickly, but for like a morning. We didn't really go to Aulani. We went to the lagoons out at Colina. And that's where there's like, I think, a Four Seasons, the Aulani, the Disney Hotel. And we so went, went in there to get some food and some sh um, shave ice. And then, of course, I saw that they had some cute things. So I bought myself this <laughs> bathing suit. They had ones for little ones, but they were like baby, baby su bathing suits, you know? So like mommy and me kind of matching but they didn't have it like Miranda size so I was like ah and then I didn't really see any other ones that were matching so I got this one for myself super cute I also got a cover up this is Olani but I don't have it here because I used it and it's like I washed it it's up in my room already my husband also grabbed one for himself and um, Miranda got a little shave ice um, keychain which I'll show you in just a minute um, okay so that was Olani <laughs> let's put that back over here not uh, the best deal it was Disney pricing as we all know um, these are just some few things. Miranda already took them out for her friends. Um, this is all that I have left, but she took the other ones. Little bracelets. They were like a buck, you know, for her little buddies. That a little coconut shell bracelet. Super cute. Another little necklace, similar to the ones we got last year. I got another one with a little, um, what's it called? Uh, turtle that I've been wearing, so that's not in the bag anymore. I think this one is mine. Miranda picked out another one that's similar, but she took it already, too. Kind of interesting this one has a bead here, but not on the other side. Or maybe it was supposed to be... You can see it's up in here. Maybe some way I can drag it down here. I don't think so, though. But, yeah, you know, they're handmade. So what are you going to do? <laughs> and then um, some Hawaii uh, chopsticks. We use chopsticks, like, literally every day. So I thought these were pretty. They were, like, two for ten, but one for six. I'm like, I really don't need 20 pairs or whatever it is at that point. Uh, 16 pairs. So I just got the one. Um, but, yeah, no, the swap meets are a lot of fun. Let me put some of these things up, and then I'll grab the other items. Again, some swap meet items, too, but I'll be right back. So these are a couple other items we picked up at the Aloha swap meet that I was telling you. I didn't see these last year, so, you know, maybe they weren't there that day. But a lot of vendors had Well, I'm going to say a lot. Maybe two or three vendors had them. The lady I bought them from, she was like, oh, she has the best pricing. And she did. So I asked at the other spots where I saw their tags, and I was like, great. Um... So I got these, and then she was like, oh, that one's reversible. So it's pretty cool. It has a... It looks like Nani Island, made in Hawaii, USA. The fabric is amazing. I love it. I mean, you can tell the quality. When you feel something that's quality, <laughs> you can feel it. So, again, more like quilting cotton, really nice and thick stuff. And it's reversible. Look at the pattern on this. And even the pocket is reversible, which I didn't even realize. I just figured you were going to reverse it once, and there you go. But, um, you know, you have the pocket inside or something. But how cute is that? So we have this guy. They had it in several different ways, like with a zipper, a bigger one, a smaller one. Like, <laughs> so cute. But I got this one. And this was Miranda's, the one she chose. Um, little backpack, it actually has pockets on the side, has a nice zipper. I mean, everything about this just feels really well made and really sweet. It opens up, she has some of her little personal items in there, but I know in here she has her little shave ice from Aulani. That was so cute. And she actually got a rainbow shave ice that looked very similar to this, so she has her little memento, super adorable, and very cute. So I'm going to put those to the side. Um, okay. Well, okay, <laughs> so we like going to this place called Ted's Bakery in the North Shore, and um, 
still is wonderful. The people are so nice. Like Miranda's really picky about the things that she eats. And sometimes, you know, she likes bacon at the place like this. They have garlic shrimp and like katsu chicken, all these delicious things. But she just likes rice, so she wanted rice. And she's like, oh, but can I get the bacon again? Because last time <laughs> I asked, they had like breakfast plates. And I was like, can she get something with bacon? Oh, she's like, I don't know, you know, breakfast is over, and they're really nice older ladies that work there, and, well, let me ask, so then she looked, you know, kind of told the guy in the back something, or the lady, and then the lady called somebody over, and then the man, like, peeks out, the cook, and he's like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll make her whatever, <laughs> so it's kind of funny that he saw her, and he's like, sure, I'll make her something, so they just put something together for her, which was basically like bacon and rice, you know, and she ate, like, a... I don't even know how many pieces of bacon they gave her. They hooked her up. So this time around, she's like, oh, can I get the bacon again? I'm like, oh, Miranda, I don't know, girl. Let me see. So again, the off-menu, the same thing happens. She asks the lady, the lady asks the guy, and he's like, oh, it's over, you know, it's after lunch, but let me ask. And so she's like, oh, can I just charge you for something? I said, okay. So again, they gave her a ton of bacon. They still get, and this time they did eggs and uh, rice. I'm like, yeah, just, you can even keep the eggs and the rice. She just wants the bacon, you know, but they're really sweet people, like amazing, because we get there around one or two o'clock, obviously their breakfast time is over. So it was really nice that they would still work with us and if they had said no I'd be like okay I'm not the type of person that's like <laughs> oh no she has to you know it was fine but they're so sweet so anyway I bought one of their sweaters um because I love it there and then oh that's the other thing I didn't show in my shorts video I think I already released the video maybe not um they make pie and the pie is like amazing and if you order certain plates it comes with a piece of pie some of them don't so the garlic shrimp for sure it's one of their higher priced items it does come with a piece of pie also so you can just pick whichever slice you like and it's cool so there you go um so i got their sweater um oh this is the hanaloa stuff now this isn't everything we did buy quite a few items since i seem like i like this store a lot so this is from randa when i went back had exchanged something uh they were 50 percent off so i just got a little cover up because it's cute it has their logo and the little islands on there it was like 15 bucks but you know these are surf brand prices so they're not super low this one I exchanged for a large because the story happened. So we have this shirt. He has a shirt that he wore to the luau, which is somewhere else, but it's blue with like pineapples, really cute. Um, and again, they had their bundle deals. So my son already wore one of his shirts, but here's another one of the shirts that he chose. You know, and then he picked out his shorts, which he wore also, so they're not in here. And then Miranda chose the hat to finish off that bundle. And I was trying not to smash it, but I got kind of smashed. But there you go. But look at a little mahalo. I love that. Hawaii, it says on the side. I didn't even notice that cute um i have a hat also from this company and oh it's a black straw hat which now that i think about it, i'm like oh i haven't even seen it it must be in the car <laughs> so i told myself i don't want a straw hat because last time i had a roxy hat and i had to take care of it the whole time i was like on the airplane and everything else and this time i ended up with a straw hat again taking care of it you know <laughs> while i was at the airport and all that but anyway i already wore some of the shirts that i've chosen from this company too so these are just a few that i have here I thought it was pretty. I love the color. I like the little pattern going across. I picked a pair of jean shorts. And my husband's like, well, those are kind of plain. I'm like, yeah, but, you know, they have a little design on the back. I thought they were cute. So I grabbed these. But he wanted something more Hawaiian looking, I suppose. <laughs> um, just a cute little shirt that says Aloha with the little islands on there. This one's interesting. This is more like a cover-up that you would wear maybe with a bathing suit or something. Because it's, like, absorbent and big. I don't know how to explain it. So I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Something different. So definitely a beach item here i got two of the deal hopefully you can tell <laughs> and then these guys so these are the shorts i did pick that are a little more fun they had a shirt that went with it but i was like yeah it's a little much and even the girls that shop there they had opinions about everything <laughs> two young ladies and they're like oh i don't know you know they're really sweet so i grabbed this actually i'll grab the green outfit i wore to the luau actually you know what i have a picture of the luau. i don't need to go grab the outfit but i did pick a nice kind of special outfit for that but this you know goes with this shirt it goes with like maybe even this one but more of the green one and another shirt that i had bought that i wore so i thought oh they're cute that way and then this beautiful dress and i know it's hard to see but um i just really love the way this looks like a sundress um look how pretty with the tie and then the little sweet buttons all the way down and it just kind of opens up and I just thought it was too pretty, so I had to grab this guy. I don't like taking care of things that are like, oh, you have to wash it a certain way, but it's not too picky. It's viscose, so I'm like, okay, I think I can do this. <laughs> I really, honestly, if something says dry clean only or like, do it this way, I'm like, forget it. I don't have time for that, ever. <laughs> so anyway, let me put these things aside. I'll be right back. A couple more clothing items from ABC stores. I don't, I didn't, well, actually, I got a couple of shirts from them. 
Um, so what happens is they have that store. It's like a convenience store. I've shown you guys lots of videos. I'm sure there's lots of videos online about it. And so, you know, I grab breakfast there. And then, I mean, their food is actually really decent. So, I mean, if you're in a pinch or you don't want to go, you're tired of going to eat at, you know, restaurants, which I would never tire of. But, you know, sometimes things happen. Like our last night, honestly, we couldn't find anything. And we started eating so late that everything was packed. And I was just like, ugh. So we ended up eating ABC store food, which is fine. Um... You save your receipts, and at the end, you get free things. And last time, I went nuts at that place because I was just, like, buying everything, and then I realized Don Quixote was the thing, so, like, I went to that store instead. Um, but I was able to get a bunch of, like, free trinkets, right? So this time, I only got two free things, but if for every $100, you get, like, a free item, but then if you spend 300 for every 300 you can pick, like, a bigger item. But I was like, do I really need, like, nine mugs or whatever? I didn't spend 900 bucks this time, but... <laughs> um, or three mugs, even, because I even have them from last time we were there. So this time I picked out a couple other things that I'll show you. But I did pick um, a couple things for, like, Diego's girlfriend. I think this is the one for her, possibly. It depends on the sizing. I don't remember if mine was a medium or the large... Or the... However, yeah. But uh, it's like a half-cut sweater. I thought it was really cute. So it has a little Hawaii. So when you wear it, it kind of opens up. And then on the back, it has Aloha. And the pink... And these are like two for pricing, so one for this much, two for, you know, I think it was 60 bucks. Um, and then this is the other one I chose, Hawaii Aloha State. And I'm back, oh, it has a little Hawaii, I didn't notice that. I was like, I thought it had something on the back, but not as big as the other one. So that's really cute. Um, so, you know, one's for me and one's for her. And, oh, now that I think about it, I guess that one's for her then. Did I get the pink one? Yeah, they were really low on these. And there's a ton of stores, it's just the store I happened to choose, that's all they had, so... That's what we went with. Oh my gosh, the cutest Hello Kitty towels. Miranda picked out some fun things for herself. She has. I'm not going to go looking for them, but they were basically like Hello Kitty keychains last time she got plushies. Um, look at this. And then, you know, you don't have to sit there and open it up. They'll show you what the design looks like. But it's little Hello Kitty and all her little friends. And this is Hawaii under the rainbow. And look at Karomi over here. Super cute. And then I picked out this one where they all have like their little tan. <laughs> I love the Hello Kitty with the tan. Karopi's on there. Karomi's on there. And a couple other buddies. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Pachaco's over here. <laughs> They're getting covered up. Um, I forget this guy's name. The little brown, like, dog-looking character. Anyway, super cute towels. Also, with the 2-4 pricing. Um, and then, I'll just show you with the ABC stores. I don't really have much else to show you other than maybe the items that I chose free. So, I just picked a towel. That's all. I mean, literally, last time I was like... I mean, over a thousand bucks I spent at that place because I was crazy. Uh, well, it was uh, more of us, too, with the food. And then just I had gone crazy buying souvenirs, which I didn't have to do as much this time, right? Because it's just... I just didn't choose the same kind of things, I guess is what I should say. So I got this free. I like this um, towel. They had tons of, like, ten different designs. But I thought this was cute with all the different islands and the Hawaii info on there. So we have that one. And then I got this free bag. And last time I got couple of these bags plus a wheelie tote and all kinds of things so this time I chose this bag it has a different print from the one I chose last time it zippers it has pockets I mean this, these are great for travel anyway so I just really like it. it ends up coming in handy when you're on your way home I'm like this is my personal item you know so I got that for free um oh here are my hats this is a Vulcan one and then this one, Miranda had not get at Volcom, even though I was looking at it. You know, I love coral. They had one of those coral colored, and then it just said Aloha, I think, nice and big right here. But Miranda really liked this one for me, and I'm like, okay. So I went with her suggestion, so that's what I had chosen at Volcom. Just because I needed a hat earlier, and I hadn't been shopping yet, so there you go. Um, ooh, okay, what else? I'm just going to show you what's in this bag. I have my pictures from the luau we decided to go to. And a couple of food items because we're getting there anyway. These are from Don Quixote and honestly I haven't tasted these yet. So hopefully they are yummy. But they are tasty mini bread with creamy custard filling. And then this one has chocolate filling. And you guys, they're really like light. So I bet you they're super delicious. But anyway, that was in this bag because again, once we're traveling, I'm like, just get it in. We got to go, you know. So there you go. Um... Oh, one other thing that's in this bag. I had gone to Foodland, and then they had these reusable bags. And look at this, because it looks like a paper bag. I thought it was so cute with Foodland. And so I needed something to hold all the chips I bought, because I bought tons of their chips. Um, so I picked up this bag. I thought it was really cool. I mean, that is super cool looking. They had a couple different patterns. So I just got one. And this was us at the Luau. Kind of interesting. This is the military hotel, like I said. And I thought it was odd that <laughs> I didn't realize after I paid for these. She's like, oh, there's a code on there for you to do, you know, X, Y, and Z. I'm like, there's a oh, code? Sorry. Yeah, so why? I was just like, why would they put a code on there? 
they could have put it somewhere else or you know what I'm saying why is it in the picture but maybe if I put it in a frame you won't notice it I don't know but there it is and there's the outfit that I had chosen very cute um from that Honolua and then another little family picture there very very cute okay um so let me grab I think some other items <laughs> I'll be right back now I think it's good basically gonna just be food shouldn't take too long well as I grab things I might come back across different types of items so at the ABC store they actually sell these cases they're like two in a pack that you can ship things in that they guaranteed not to break but I usually get them and I probably should just brought the ones I had last time because I still have these I didn't really actually tape them you know but I was able to bring back a bottle of rum this Mahina rum is very nice it tastes very nutty it's so interesting because I was like what <laughs> I just got it to make like Mai Tais and um and then I read the back later and I'm like oh yeah complex notes of nutmeg vanilla brown sugar and caramel but honestly it tastes like like walnut, like a Madeira, like um, like a Mexican brandy. I don't know. It just has a different taste, and I really like that. So I grabbed the bottle for home, and that's all of that that I picked up. Um, I do have some other items from the swap meet that are more like food. These little 3D pineapple gummies are super cute. Supposedly, well, that's what they said they make them there. I don't know. It says packed by Diamond Head Taffy. Packed by, I didn't say they made these, but she said they made them. So I'm like, hmm. But super cute very yummy these guys right here definitely you know it does say packed by my kids had to have a few bags of these um because it says manufactured by albanese confectionery group so to me manufactured albanese they're the ones that make those delicious gummies so i'm like i think she's repacked them but she kept insisting that they made them so i don't know maybe they added this little leaking powder and that's what means that they made them but they're very tasty they don't really taste like albanese gummies that's why i'm like huh so i don't know Maybe the company makes them for them. I have no idea. Because you can even tell the size of that gummy is different from like this, right? So these are leaking, also Albanese made. But these do look more like the typical Albanese gummies. So, I don't know. All I know is they were tasty. She let us taste everything, and so I grabbed them. Hot and spicy macadamia nuts. And I grabbed a small pack of the Maui onion, because she insisted we try that first, and then follow up with the Maui onion. And she was right. It tastes really yummy. Like, it just makes it pop. And that was Diamond Head... Um, I don't know. See, they say honey and royal jelly Hawaii. So if you're interested in checking them out, there's some of their info. But over here, it says Diamond Head Original Flavors of Hawaii. And that's what it says here, Diamond Head Taffy LLC. And then these were so good, the Kona Glazed Macadamia Nuts. I honestly should have bought more of everything I'm looking at right now. But you know, you're there and you're like, I don't need that many things. And then when you get home, you're like, oh, I should have just bought them. But, um... Really good. So if you see them at the uh, Aloha Swap Meet, don't be afraid. Try them out. Um, these things I think are from the ABC store. Um, so they have this Haiku or Haku Plumeria body serum. This stuff is really interesting. I'll show, I'll show it to you because it's not lotion. It's kind of serum, like it said. You know, I'll just open it. And it just smells so good, but which I need some right now. Look at my hands. Um, hold on, let me get this off of here without getting this everywhere hopefully you know when something's been on a plane who knows how it's gonna act um, it's like clear like that and it just smells so good it smells like uh, so fresh like it doesn't even to me honestly I love plumeria it doesn't smell super floral it just smells really clean really fresh and well there we go Amanda actually found a little plumeria that had fallen I don't know I guess from a plumeria you know plant that was much bigger so I was like oh smell it she smells she's like oh it smells so good because she was really excited to smell that and apparently she's never smelled one before um, I also got this guy which is just hand creams even the gardenia one honestly is very light like I really liked the, what they did with these so I got a little sample pack of that um, I had seen this one of the days and it just smelled so good it's actually just um, body wash oh, and again just smells clean even though it smells a little tropical a little sweet but just clean so I really like that one, if you want to check it out, Bubble Shack. These guys, I know they sell here in the States. I've bought it before, well, at Hanson's. And I don't know if every place has a Hanson's <laughs> a surf shop, but a Hanson's surf shop out here, they sell this stuff. It's really good. I might have seen it at Ulta now that I think about it. Um, but these things are nice. I just grabbed a whole pack of four of them. And then some face masks I always grab for my nieces. Just, I know they like using face masks. So I suppose there's a few in each one of these. So I grabbed a pack for each one of them. So there's that. Um, oh, it smells so good. <laughs> As I'm, push, I'm putting these things back in, I can smell my hands. 
smelling really nice. Um, okay, let me go grab some other items. So just a few other random things. Um, these are from the ABC store. Um, so are these bags, and I got some last time, and they're great. I use them all the time here, you know, in the states when I go shopping, grocery shopping. So. Um, again, these are like t two, four, three, four, four, four. You know, pricing, um, but they're so cute. And then these are from uh, the uh, Don Quixote, which is so cute. The little Hawaii, look at this little stack of pancakes and the pineapple and masubi and all that. So I have a couple of these. I think one of them I have is craft related, which I thought was really cute. Actually, I didn't even look at their craft stuff. I don't know that I saw the store where or part of the store where they had that. I don't know why they would have a craft bag if they don't have crafts. Hmm, I didn't think about that. A reusable bag from Happy Ohini again. Everything over there, they're trying to eliminate single-use plastics like we're trying to do in California for the most part. So um, I know all my local, like, McDonald's, they sell things in, like, these weird, like, paper orb-looking things, like if it's a Big Mac or something. And I love that. That's great. You know, the straws, everything, everything. So over there, they're trying to do that with bags also. And um, so you can get a bag. And they're, like, 15 cents or a dollar. It just depends on the, the store, right? These other ones, obviously, they're the kind you buy. But, like, this place, I think they were 15 cents because that's what they offered, you know? Um... Other places, if it's a fancier bag, obviously you're gonna pay more. So one day when we shopped, it was this one. The next day we got this one, and you know ABC store, cute little bags. And <laughs> I last time I went, I didn't want to buy the plumeria because I'm like, I don't want to have to say that I have anything agriculture on my bags. But I told the guy, I said, yeah, I have a plumeria stick. It's in that small bag, so you can just pull it out if you need to see it. And he's like, it's in the packaging and everything. I said, yeah, he's like, that's all right, because they pass everything through a machine, and then I guess they notice the way it's packed. I have no idea, but. Um, he was okay with it, and I'm okay with it, and six nine nine for a piece of plumeria that supposedly is going to be pink. We will see. I have one in the outside in my yard right now that I got at Home Depot. <laughs> I don't know what color it's supposed to be, and it's growing. Like, I don't even take care of it. Honestly, it's in a little pot, and the thing is growing, and I'm like, I need to get out of that pot. It's like in the smallest pot, and it just does its thing. Um, so... It seems to be easily grown, I guess, in certain areas. This is so cute. They have these at the ABC store. They are picks. Is that all of them? No, that's not all of them. There should be five of them. But anyway, um, just a little gift I grabbed for my nephew who plays guitar, and hopefully it'll be the kind of thing. I think they might be for ukuleles, though. I don't know. But they are so pretty. Look at these picks, you guys. Oh, my gosh. I mean, how gorgeous are those? And then they had a little bag for them, so I'm like, I have to get the little Highland picks. And then I chose of, like, 30 different designs they had. So, obviously, you take those and you pop them in here. And you can put on your keychain. You're ready to play whenever you want. So, I just thought those were cute. Okay, so, um, food items. Let me put these things to the side. Okay, well, now that I look at the bags from Don Quixote, they says hobby. It doesn't really say craft, so I guess. Um, but look how cute these bags are. So, I have a couple of these guys adorable all right suppose this is food you might find some other items mixed in here because like i said once you pack things and you just need to get things in wherever they fit it's uh, craziness but i do have some of these guys now these are better priced at don quixote than they are at the abc store but at the abc store they come in a plastic kind of reusable kind of bag like really cute like a little like suitcase almost for them um, so that's something to think about if it's worth it to you. They're probably like $8 difference. So for me, $8, I don't need another one of those plastic bags that I didn't really know what to do with. So, um, Mauna Loa, you know, chocolates. <laughs> There's six boxes in here. They're just stacked like this inside. These are the bigger boxes. And then I got the Hawaiian Host ones because to be honest, I like both of them. Um, even, what's the other one? Did I get the other brand? No, I didn't think I did. Uh, I can't even think of what the other brand name is right now. Uh, anyway, <laughs> both of these are good. To me, there's no difference. But, you know, I like milk chocolate, so I got them both milk chocolate. Um, they have the Mac Crunch ones. They have all kinds of different ones, but this is what I like. So that's what I grab. And coffee. I know last time somebody had mentioned about Kona coffee. I wasn't really looking for Kona coffee. All I know is I like this. So I was getting at the ABC store every morning, the Lion brand. I liked it. So I want to keep doing that. And now they're selling another one called like Aloha Aina. Aina Aloha. So I can't remember the name of it. It wasn't Lion Brand anymore that they were serving. So I was like, oh, that's interesting. But I like this. So I can still get this locally at our local Marukai markets that are kind of like Don Quixote. But for the bag that's like this, they want $9. And it literally needs a heaping, like two heaping tablespoons per cup of coffee. So you'll go through that bag in like maybe two carafes, you know? So I'm like, okay, that's kind of expensive at that point. So at, I knew I wanted to get these big bags when I went there. So they had the vanilla macadamia in the big bag, which must much better pricing. This is like their cheap brand kind of <laughs> over there. The original roast, I have more, but this is what I have in this bag. 
of the big guys. All of these little um, shortbreads. Now, I showed you at the beginning of the Honolulu Com Cookie Company. Shortbreads are roughly a dollar each. You might get a little bit better deal if you're buying like a bigger box of them. These were like three dollars and they were really good. I was eating these while we were there. So this is almond and they're individually wrapped which is kind of interesting especially since they want to cut back on single-use plastics but I'll show you. Oh no I didn't want to rip it but oh well. <laughs> you know what happens guys. Oh it's really ripped. But either way they're just like this and they're super good. Actually I'll open this one up. Why not since we're here and Really crispy, really buttery. I will tell you, these are super buttery. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Really good. But the box is adorable. They close up really nicely. Great pricing. Diamond makes all kinds of things. I can even pick some of those diamond items up here, but not these. I haven't seen these at my local Marikai market. So there's Lilikoi flavor again, passion fruit flavor. Um, these are slightly different ones. This one's high in shortbread macadamia nut pineapple. You can see it's a different packaging. All the same company. Ube. Taro, root, whatever you want to call them, but they're yummy, yummy. Um, Kona coffee flavor, coconut flavor. These little guys I can get over here too, the Moomin biscuits. They're usually kind of expensive. I don't know why. A little box of these will be like $27 in like a tin at my local Marukai market. So since they had these kind of like little kid ones, I grabbed these just to taste them because I thought maybe, maybe they're worth $28 for a little... It's literally this big, but it's a tin. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I doubt it. <laughs> so I did want to grab a few of those since they had them. Like they're getting smashed. This is the chocolate flavor. So we'll try those. Um, these little guys, I've showed you this before from Madokai here. I just, it was there and I was like, ooh, I want to eat these. And I, my plan was to eat them while we were there, but we didn't get around to it. These are really cute. These I got at the ABC store. Uh, pineapple shortbread cookies with real fruit filling it says it has a buttery dough and real pineapple filling I have not opened this I don't know if it slides oh yeah you're gonna have to I'm not gonna open this one guys sorry well eh, maybe I will maybe I will let's let's give it a little cut because I'm sure you're curious because I was curious also and these were not inexpensive so maybe if you see them and you want to know what they look like I've seen something like this here locally um, so let's try it Okay, I'll try it for you. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. Right here. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm trying to get some of the filling, sorry. These are amazing. <laughs> I should have got more. I think I got one more pack just because I was like, well, we'll see. Oh my gosh, they taste so good. When the pineapple flavor hits, it's not fake pineapple. It tastes like a real pineapple. It's not like, oh, this is flavoring. It's really nice. Okay, I recommend these if you see these. <laughs> it's not crunchy like the shortbread. It's a little softer. Um, but that pineapple filling is real. I tried to make something like this when I was making mooncakes. And my pineapple filling came out nice. But it took forever because you have to really reduce it as you're cooking it. And that's what this tastes like. It's not fake. You know, it's really nice. Alright, well that's good. Okay, let me put some of these things to the side. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got to the other coffee. So I got their gold roast, which is a little bit lighter, I think, in flavor. Um, and then they had this that I hadn't tried before, Diamond Head Roast, and they only had it in these smaller packages, so that's what I grabbed. I grabbed a couple of those. I'm sorry, I just grabbed these in my arms and I brought them over here. So these are Lily Koi Cakes, which are supposed to be similar to like the shortbread and kind of like the other cake. Honestly, I was going to say, that's probably why these are kind of expensive. It does take a long time to make that filling. And even if a machine's doing it, like, fine. I, all day, I'll pay what they're asking. Um, these are four individual wrapped cakes, and I think this was like seven bucks too, so they're not inexpensive either, but I took a chance, so I'm not going to open this one right now, but you can see what they're supposed to look like. More like the kind of square rectangular shape, I guess, square shape. And so maybe they're about this size. They look cute. We'll see. This I got at Foodland. So those things are still from Don Quixote. These I got at Foodland. We had picked up, you saw the mochi at the beginning. That stuff is so chewy. I just tried it for the first time <laughs> yesterday or whatever. And um, I'm like, why? Dorian just loves that texture. It's very chewy. Um, really interesting stuff. But anyway, I have strawberry chichi dango mochi from the chefs at Foodland. It says just add coconut milk, water, and cornstarch. So we will see. And then this one's Hawaiian banana bread. I make banana breads all the time. Some of the difference with some of the banana breads you might taste in Hawaii might have that mochi kind of corn, um, not cornstarch, what did I say? The rice 
uh, flour in them. I don't know, but this one does need some bananas, the eggs, you know, obviously needs a little few other things. So I'm curious to try that, and so I'll try that soon. Um, these are some things I picked up last time too. Little coconut balls with macadamia nut bits. They're just little balls like this and just flavorful and yummy. And then the pineapple coconut ones also. Uh, you know, these are like 6 or $7 a piece. Just a fun little confection. These are from the ABC store. I did, forgot to show you guys earlier. You see the difference in the widths, but they're the same pricing. And they also have a 2-4 or something, you know, pricing. I can't remember exactly what they were 2-4. But uh, these are the two that I had chosen. And they have come in like 20 different colors, each size, like pink and light pink and dark pink and darker purple and a lighter purple, a light blue, a dark blue, like so many colors in the background. So <laughs> there's a lot to choose from there. And here's my other little mini wahini, like I told you. She just left it in the packaging because we weren't going to use it, so that's fine. Um, okay, <laughs> I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's getting crazy out here. I'm just bringing things in my hands. Okay, this stuff, for some reason, is always expensive. I don't know what it is. They sell it here expensive. They have a hurricane popcorn they sell over there, like, three packs, like, you were gonna pop in your own, you know, microwave for, like, $22, so, like, seven, roughly $7 each microwavable pack. I don't know why. I grabbed this one for the kids to try it. This one's not the hurricane kind of popcorn, but this one's still kind of high old-fashioned sweet candy popcorn so I haven't opened it yet I'll let the kids open it but I just want to show it to you I don't know why it's so expensive but it is there you go um, I have things just like sitting in my arms um, I grabbed these Hawaii candy it says Hawaii coconut butter wafers I love coconut uh, cookies like those butter coconut ones you might find sometimes they'll have them like at the 99 cent store or an Asian market they're so good um, I don't know what this is and it kind of busted on me a little bit as you can see so let me open this because I want, I'm curious if they're just like those wafers I love anything wafery since I was a little kid it reminds me of like going to mass and getting your little holy uh, bread <laughs> and so I was like playing with that kind of thing but these oh wow okay they're a little bigger they're so pretty look at the symbolism on them they're so lovely let me try this out I was going to say, it feels like there's a few in here, and they're delicate, so yeah, maybe I'll think about that next time. Oh, that one had a hibiscus flower. Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay. It's just like a delicious waffle cone. Oh, my gosh. So good. The kids are going to love that. I'll finish that off camera. But yeah, it's just nice and sweet. Very waffle cone-y. Got those at Don Quixote. Basically, everything I'm showing you right now came Don Quixote, including these guys. Honestly, I should have grabbed these just with like a salt flavor, or you know what I'm saying, salted. I did get milk chocolate. And these are cute. They're like little Tetra packs. I don't know if I can open this. Just like this. Honestly, if I knew it was so easy to open, I would have checked to make sure they were all in here, because these are not inexpensive. Um, this would be 26 in here. And they just look like that, and you can open them up. They usually have a mix set, but this time they were all chocolate, or all honey roasted, or all like salt, you know, or salted. And I was like, <sighs> so I just grabbed these. But I probably should have grabbed salted since I had so many of the other chocolate ones. But there they are. Honestly, this stuff barely fit in the things I was carrying, the things I checked in. Like, I like I judged it to a T. <laughs> this one's really fun. I like this. This is uh, Hawaiian Sun. That's the other brand. It was Hawaiian Host. And then obviously Mauna Loa. Hawaiian Sun. These are a little less expensive, I would say, as far as the macadamia nuts are concerned. But this is really fun. So they have Kona Crunch in here. They have the macadamia nuts that are just covered. But these guys put them in like a little wrapper like this. So it's not like a freestanding piece of chocolate. It's in like this little cone wrapper. I think even the crisp one is packaged that way. And so are these guys. And this one has a little nut toffee in there with the macadamia. They're really good. And these are so cute. So this kind of bag I was telling you about the other ones would be packaged at the ABC store. So if you want to pay eight more dollars for the same amount of chocolate, but you have a plastic bag. You know, ABC store has it. Um, still a decent price. But, you know, I don't know. Okay, I need to show you right now how I packed my potato chips. I was carrying a bag on the plane that had four bags of chips in it, so I can keep them nice and safe. And I packed a few more in my luggage that I'll show you right now. I don't know why, but this one makes me laugh just because of the way I packed these chips. I'm like, oh, I gotta protect them. It's all chips. I love those chips. They're hard to find. These are the best chips in the world, and I was like, oh, I'm sure I'll find them somewhere in San Diego. No, Th they're made by Lay's. They only have them on the islands, apparently. You can try to find them on Amazon. Somebody's going to charge you 20 bucks for the one bag because they're going to put it in a, you know, uh, 
priority packaging, whatever. It's ridiculous. So Maui style chips, Maui onion is the flavor you want. But I do have a pack that's open right here. They're just the regular ones because when I got there the first night, I was like, oh, I'm gonna eat so many chips. I only found the regular ones in salt and vinegar. Like all the onion ones were gone. But since I was there for a long extended period, or not really long, but you know, a few days, uh, when I went to Foodland, they were on sale. Like, you know, cause it's a grocery store. They were like two for seven. I was like, oh yeah. So I bought six bags there, and then I already picked up a couple other bags whenever I found them. But that's just what they look like. These are not like the Hawaiian-style chips, the other ones you see with the lady on the cup, you know, on the front. Yeah, those are fine. Not my favorite. These chips, I don't even know what they do to them. They're just so good, but... Very crunchy. They are like kettle cooked, but they're not like kettle cooked. I don't know how to explain it. They're just so good. And the flavor of these are just the best. The salt and vinegar are actually pretty good, too. We didn't pick up any of those last time, but this time Miranda likes salt and vinegar, so we grabbed some. They're yummy, but to me, this is the best one right here. It is good. And, you know, it, you try our unreal Maui onion flavor. Yeah, no, they're just, I can't say enough. If you go to Hawaii, you gotta grab them, guys. Um, I think I have one more batch of things. Oh, I also brought these out because I have two of these left. So at the Hilton, we had credit, and I showed you guys some of the, maybe I showed them Malasa at the beginning. I was grabbing these big kahuna chocolate brownies. They're five bucks, guys. Um, because everything else is like not a deal. If they're giving you $18 credit per person for two people, not everybody, if you have their, you know, rewards and all that. I just used it on stuff, like things like this. I was trying to get, you know, entrees here. They weren't that great. The pizza's okay. We got nachos. Those were good. We got smoothies every day. Those were good. But just like snacky things. But these guys right here is the way to do it. They are so good. And I'm telling you, any baker item you got from them, they're going to be decent. But anyway, I just want to show you. I have two left of my son right now. He's like, all, chocolate brownie, where'd you get those? I'm like, I showed you these. Like, you didn't show me those, my eldest son. So one of these has his name on it. But um, these are the two I have left. And um, they're really good. So if you're doing that, I would say spend it on these kinds of things. That's just me. Oh, and they're shave ice. Everyone says that they actually have one of the most decent shave ice, even com you know, to the companies that that's all they do is sell shave ice. So something to think about. I'll be right oh back. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm just grabbing this stuff. If there's anything else I forgot, then oh well, because I am done. Um, so these are also from, um, again, Don Quixote. They have all kinds of souvenirs galore i mean things you need while you're there things you don't need while you're there <laughs> like just everything you can imagine um so i thought these were cute and this is happy but they're just um bottle openers right cool say so hawaii super cute got a little hair on that one okay um okay so from there i also grabbed some of their hawaiian birthday butter mochi mix again chewy stuff you may like it you may not but my kids like it see how it looks like almost clear super I'm telling you, this stuff is so chewy. <laughs> I not explain it. But this one's butter mochi, like one of the basic mixes. Um, this is the one I was kind of eating off of, basically. So just the original um, short uh, shortbread. This one's macadamia nut brownie. It looks yummy. So again, just a ton of them. Um, Kona coffee. I grabbed another coffee one. This I grabbed the first day we were there, and then I was reading, I'm like, oh, you kind of have to reheat them for them to be yummy, so I'm just going to eat them here, but obviously they were best by a couple days ago, and that's fine. I mean, they're just cinnamon twists. We'll definitely eat these guys. Um, a little... I grabbed three of these packs. Now, I used to buy these here at Daiso, and they just stopped selling them, and the lady's like, I don't know what happened. They just stopped bringing them in, like, to sell them, so they're so cute. They're just tissues, and they're inexpensive, but they're super cute, so I grabbed a few of those. Um, and then these guys I grabbed at the ABC store as I was walking out. I just panned over and I had seen these and I thought they looked really lovely. They're just like, um, like jelly candies, you know? Um, kind of like Sunkist has, like those little gems, which are so yummy. Uh, but these are exotic fruit jellies. So this was like 13 bucks and there's 12 of them. So just over a dollar each little square and they're like this big. Um, but I'm sure they're amazing and delicious. And they had two different flavor packs, but I grabbed this one, um, at the ABC stores. Oh, there you go the image of them and so I'm looking forward to having those and then yeah I think that's it guys one last little thing I had grabbed some of these these are just wet wipes they're just water like if you read it it says they're just wet sheets with literary water um super cute a friend of mine here had sent me um like during the swaps one a hello kitty one and they work great and they're lovely and they're super cute so i grabbed my little cinnamon roll and my little my melody and they are adorable i just dropped this on the way over here and she looks great so sturdy <laughs> on top of that um really cute little wipes i think that's it if that's not it too bad i i'm done with this i need to put these things away and uh start eating them so thanks for watching guys i hope you're all doing well again when i go to hawaii like 
I, this is the second time. The first time we were trying to pack every day, morning this, afternoon that, you know. This time we just did a luau just because we felt like it. Um, you know, and it was a good luau, actually, but I just don't want to talk too much about it because you can only, I think, go there if you have a military ID at all, like if you're a reserve or if you're active or retired. So it's not for everybody. Um, but I like their luau because it was a sit-down dinner and then just like a show that didn't take too long. Last time, Randall was crying. She wanted to leave. Like, we were done, you know. It was just a very long time to spend at one place, um, especially when you're kind of jet lag or whatever is going on. Um, I'm always looking for deals. I don't care about eating at the fanciest restaurants. I will have some videos for you guys of different places that we stopped in at, the Rainbow Drive-In, like places that people just eat at because they live in Hawaii and it's decent. Um, I know a lot of times people say it's so expensive and I, again, I might mention like last time I was like, this seems like, yeah, this is what we pay anyway. Yeah, because I live in San Diego, that's why I pay what I pay, you know, when we go to eat. So maybe that part isn't a shock to me, but um, I just like deals, I don't care. Like. I, you're gonna find a good deal if you're trying to get out there. I just be patient with Alaska. I mean, they have Alaska Airlines have deals that are like, honestly, it was less than fifteen hundred bucks for the four of us to get out there. It costs more to stay at the hotel. Oh, that's the other thing, hotel with the resort fees. So I, it was basically the similar, the exact same pricing. But I forgot that they show you the hotel fee, but they didn't really put it in the total until you get there. So like in my mind, I'm thinking this much money. I'm like, oh, that's weird. Why would they list it but not actually total it on the Hilton website? I don't know. I was just like, oh, whatever. Um, so those are things you want to think about, but you'll find a deal. Like, it doesn't have to be exorbitant, but it can be. And if that's what you like, you know, you can definitely, you know, do your first class, do all that stuff, you know, book it whenever. But um, I was, that's why we went in February, because I was like, this deal was crazy. We could not pass it up. So we'll see. Maybe next year we'll go back in March, because we really like the March weather. The February is still a little chilly, meaning 60 something in the evening, but it was breezy. So it felt colder than it really was, um, in my opinion. But it's very similar to San Diego, so even with that, we're like, yeah, of course, you know. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. But if you have any questions or if you think, you know, I can help out in any way of answering whatever questions you might have, I will love to do that. Because, again, for me, it's just being real. And if the place has a long line, I do not care. I'm not going to stay there. Like, I'll go somewhere else. Because it's not that important. I think a lot of times people feel like you have to go to this place. You have to go to that place. Well, that place is on Instagram. Who cares? <laughs> just, <laughs> I'm sure you're going to love it wherever you go. It's going to be great. Like, honestly. Um, I wouldn't get too caught up in that is all I'm trying to say. Definitely have ideas of what you want to do. You know, like I said, the first time we booked ourselves way too much, I think. This time it was just two bookings, maybe. Yeah, we booked one thing and then the luau the day before. Um, and everything else was just kind of like, oh, we'll drive out here. We'll go out there, you know. And it was really chill and it was nice and um, a lot of fun. But the whole point is to just kind of relax, right? Enjoy yourself. So <laughs> I don't want to get stressed out trying to go to certain places or all that kind of thing. Um, anyway. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I am feeling better. I think I even sound better by the end of this video, so that's great. But uh, I'll see you all at the next oh, one. You know what? Sorry, guys. Bye. One more thing I want to mention. If you rent things out there, it is pretty expensive. I mean, you can buy snorkel gear at the ABC store for like 12 to 19 bucks, and I would do that. Last time I bought it on base, because there's a military base out there um, on Oahu, and um, be able to use that. You know, we brought it back this time to use because we don't need to buy more snorkel stuff. Um, but I had picked up some chairs and I was looking on Amazon purposely for chairs, like beach chairs that I can roll up, you know, that can be put away, that will fit in a luggage, like a big luggage, you know what I'm saying, like a big suitcase, I'm not talking about like carry-on size. And, um, you know, the numbers looked right and I'm like, okay, it was a two-pack and I think it had a $10 off coupon and I got them in and they were perfect because over there, honestly, you can rent chairs for $25 an hour or... Oh, half a day for 40 bucks or something, you know, something silly. And it's like, what are you talking about? So these were basically 25 bucks each. And they fit perfectly in my husband's, like, large suitcase that he took. And his clothes was in there and everything was great. So I'm going to link those because that is super important. They're going to be great in the RV. They're going to be great when I go to the beach anyway. And they're lightweight. Like, they didn't take up a lot of space in the um, suitcase, in my opinion. So if it's something that you would like to um, use and you think you need something like that because we use them every day everywhere we went you know so like it's really important it's crazy the prices that they'll charge for like an umbrella for you know all these things it's crazy out there so I'm gonna link them because they worked really well and I'm super happy with them they you know perfectly fine uh, wonderful chairs so I'll link those um, either in the description box or like that little shopping bag up here so um, yeah <laughs> all right that's it <laughs> bye now